and I now give the floor to the distinguished permanent representative of Sri Lanka. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair, for giving me the floor. Distinguished uh, specialists on the dais, distinguished delegates. <coughs> Sri Lanka stands firmly committed to the peaceful applications of nuclear science and technology globally. We have been actively engaged with the International Atomic Energy Agency and various international bodies to ensure the safe and responsible use of atomic radiation and nuclear technology. Our accession to the Convention on Nuclear Safety in 1999 underscores our dedication to implementing its provisions diligently. We commend the United Nations Scientific Committee for the Effects of Atomic Radiation for their tireless efforts in protecting health against the risks associated with ionizing radiation. Collaborations with organizations such as the International Commission on Radiological Protection, the ICRP, and the IAEA are pivotal, I say, in elaborating uh, UN SCEAR's report and ensure the responsible use of atomic radiation. Madam Chair, Sri Lanka's radiation protection framework primarily applies to facilities and activities involving radiation sources. The SLAAERC, which is Sri Lanka's agency, as the de designated regulatory body, is committed to compliance with IAEA safety standards and guidelines. Our efforts are geared towards expanding our capabilities to accommodate potential future nuclear power programs, including the establishment of a national network of monitoring stations to monitor releases from neighboring nuclear power plants. Additionally, our radiation protection services encompass external monitoring and uh, analytical measurement capabilities with an internal monitoring program in progress. We are in the process of developing the capacity to provide supplementary monitoring support to nuclear power plant operators if necessary. <laughs> Medical applications and radiation protection as it ensures the safe and accurate measurement of neutron radiation, ultimately safeguarding the health and well-being of individuals working in environments where neutron radiation is of concern. <coughs> Madam Chair, we are also in the process of acquiring verification capabilities in the preparation for potential future nuclear energy endeavors. Our regulatory framework has been adapted uh, to align with the international standards considering ongoing nuclear energy studies. Sri Lanka, Madam Chair, highlights its contribution uh, to international peace and security. It emphasizes the country's commitment to gamma scanning activity with the creation of the Gamma Center in Colombo. This technology is expected to improve, improve inspections, precision, and efficiency, benefiting both refining operations and global safety efforts. Sri Lanka's investment in safety measures are underscored, emphasizing the broader implications of these advancements for regional and global security. Madam Chair, in the realm of food safety, particularly in our dairy sector, as Sri Lanka recognizes the importance of ensuring the safety and quality of food products. A recent study aimed at to trace the origin of cattle milk using stable isotope data from various regions finding distinctions among agroclimatic climatic zones. While the research directly addresses food safety and quality control, its broader implications for economic stability and international cooperation indirectly contributes to international peace and security. A secure food supply is a sine qua non uh, for social well-being, promoting peace and security both domestically and internationally. Our examination of radiation treatment for perhaps uh, facilities revealed shortcomings, much more to be done in capacity and personnel to meet the rising demand for particularly cancer care. Cancer care. The International Atomic Energy Radiation uh, Agency can offer crucial assistance, I say, to enhance our radiation therapy uh, capabilities, including technical expertise, training, and quality assurance measures. Despite our efforts, Equipment of shortages and staffing challenges persist, impacting our ability to provide optimal cancer care. 
A recent study on thyroid cancer treatment in Sri Lanka has shed some light on radiation exposure risks and guidelines for patients. A recent study in Sri Lanka examined thyroid cancer treatment involving radiation administration, uh, addressing radiation exposure risks and guidelines for patients. Madam Chair, effective management of radioactive materials based on scientific research and guidelines reduces, we believe, the risk of contamination or incidents with cross-border implications, enhancing confidence in the safe use of nuclear technology and contributing to regional stability. This research, with its focus on nuclear safety and health security, aligns with international uh, peace and security by minimizing, we say, radiation risk and ensuring the responsible use of nuclear technology. Sri Lanka, therefore, Madam Chair, welcomes the resolution's emphasis on accelerating the evaluation of second primary cancers following radiotherapy, reaffirming our commitment to swiftly completing this evaluation. This streamlined approach enhances, we say, the document's focus on ongoing work and its significance in advancing radiation safety. In conclusion, Sri Lanka remains dedicated to global nuclear safety and cooperation. We believe that through collaborative efforts, we can contribute to international peace and security by ensuring the responsible use of atomic radiation, fostering transparency, and enhancing radiation safety practices worldwide. I thank you, Madam Chair. I thank the distinguished permanent representative of Sri Lanka for his statement.